Welcome back to Stadiums of the World, everyone. Today we have a real treat. We will be touring Folsom Field, one of the most scenic stadiums in all of sports. Located in Boulder, Colorado, and home of the Colorado football team. Located on the equally beautiful campus of the University of Colorado. Every photo you see today was taken by me. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. You can write in the comments section what you like about this stadium. And with that, let's start the tour. Folsom Field currently has capacity of 50,183. It opened back in 1924 and had a capacity of 26,000 when it opened. When the stadium opened, it was built into the shape of a horseshoe and it still has that horseshoe shape today. The stadium is mostly a single tier of seating you can see here in this photo, there's an area where it's kind of broken up, but there's no, you know, split deck. You don't have press boxes or, you know, a concourse or anything like that in between the seating. So for more or less most of the stadium, it's just a row seating all the way up and maybe a break in between. If you look along the west side of the stadium, you can see it still has only the single section of seating back from when it was originally opened. There was a renovation done to the stadium back in 1956 that brought the capacity up to 45,000. You can see from this photo that there's that second section of seating that wraps around the south and east side of the stadium. Folsom Field used to have a fixed track, which was removed back in 1967. You may be asking yourself, well, you know, I see people running in this photo. And what this is, is there's an event that happens every year called the Boulder Boulder 10K Run. It happened to be going on when I visited the stadium. And so they're running around the field, but it's not a permanent track. Another thing you'll notice if you look along the west side of the stadium, roughly you know, two thirds of the field is this large six story press box that was built back in 1968. And actually, if you look behind the, the press box outside the stadium, you'll see the former field house of the basketball team before they built the new basketball stadium. In the north end zone, just beyond the seating, there's another beautiful structure, which is the athletic center, which you can see here has a video board on top. There are a lot of reasons that this stadium is beloved and very beautiful. And one of those reasons is the beautiful brickwork. It matches a lot of the brickwork around campus and a lot of the structures that are around that stadium tie in very well with the rest of campus. Something else about this stadium that really stands out to me and I think is a nice touch that they've added is if you look in the south end zone, you can see the gold lettering that says Colorado and it has the nice black background. If we look at the east side of the stadium, you can see that it has three different sections of seating. And in, back in 2003, they also added uh, suites and club seating up on top. I think it, you know, it really adds to the stadium. You can see where it says the University of Colorado as well. This is a close-up of those suites and club level of seating. You can see here really that third level of seating, which is in black, is really tied to the, the suites and the club level. In 2014, they renovated the stadium again, adding in the northeast corner the Crawford Club, which you can see here, and they have the nice tables where you can stand and you know eat, have a drink. This is a better view of that Crawford Club. One thing to note is, you know, when a football game's not going on, you can rent that space out for weddings and all sorts of different things. You, another thing to also point out is a lot of the stadium is bleacher seating, and then you have these this table, standing room of tables in this area, and then there's a couple areas up top in the you know the club seating and in the north end zone where they actually do have chair back seating. It can be a little hard to tell in these photos with the event going on, but this stadium actually does have natural grass. It went away from natural grass for a long time, but they brought it back since 1999. We've gotten this far in the video and I actually haven't even talked about what makes this stadium so scenic. And you can see it from this view. You have the beautiful views of the Rocky Mountains, the flat irons in the background. So if you're if you're on the east side of the stadium, you have an absolutely gorgeous backdrop with the mountains and then you know the stadium and then the brick buildings all around it make it, you know, one of the best views in all of college football. One thing that I thought was really wild when I visited the stadium is if you walk on the concourse on the east side of the stadium, you can see the exterior where, you know, the exterior of the stadium used to be before they added the club and 
press boxes and all that on that. So you kind of walk under that area. So, I mean, technically you're outside, you're, you're technically outside the stadium, but you're still in the concourse area. And it's just, a, it's a really unique thing to see. This is a great view just outside that concourse showing the original outline of the stadium and then where they've added on the framing for the press box and the suites. And I, you, I think it's just a great view to show that extension. Another interesting fact about Folsom Field is the elevation is at 5,360 feet above sea level. It's the third highest in FBS college football, which is not surprising given its location outside of Denver. Just to note, the other two that are higher are Wyoming and Air Force. It's a little, you know, it's kind of hard to tell with, you know, what is it Colorado State or whatever, but Boulder's up in the mountains a little bit more than, than Fort Collins. I talked about the different seating types in the stadium a little bit previously. You can see here in the north end zone that the north end zone actually has chair back seating. That is due to a renovation that occurred back in 2016. Every video I like to throw in a photo of myself at the stadium showing I was actually there. This takes us towards the end of our tour. Today's a little shorter video than some of the other ones I've done. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel like I mentioned before. You can write in the comments section what stadium you want me to do next. This is the conclusion, so I guess have a good day, and until next time, take care.